Hi everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And today I wanted to show you how I made the, the really pretty thank you card that I posted as part of the International Highlights blog hop that went live today. I am absolutely in love with the Peaceful Cabin product suite from the uh, Stampin' Up! Uh, July to December mini catalog. If you've been following my blog at all at uh, stampingwithmelva.com, you will realize how much I love this because I have posted lots of cards. So my card today uses the dies, mostly the dies. Um, I've done one uh, stamp for thank you, but that's really it. The dies are amazing. And so um, the theme of the blog hop for the international highlights um, is always thank you. And so this, uh, there is a perfect thank you stamp uh, in the Peaceful Cabin Suite. So let me switch over to my desktop and I'll show you how I made the card. All right, so if it's the first time you found me on YouTube, welcome. And if it's not the first time, welcome back. I'm glad you decided to join me. Um, don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you'll get notified when I do upcoming videos. So this is the card that I shared. It is, as I said, I've used mostly the dies from the product suite and then this really pretty uh, patterned, the, the tree pattern designer series paper as a background. The paper is stunning. It is all in um, black and white and basic gray and smoky slate. So just really pretty paper. So let me bring in the suite. So this is the great stamp set. As I said, I'm using this thank you stamp, but there are some really lovely stamps. This great fox is so cute. Um, couldn't figure out what this one was. Somebody told me the other day, posted a comment, thank you for the comment on YouTube. This is actually smoke for the, the coming out of the chimney. I hadn't realized that, so that's a great use. And then the dies, I don't have many in the package because I, like I said, I use mostly dies. So there are these great individual trees. I've cut them out of vellum. There are these trees that cut out and then the trees have holes in them. It's kind of hard to see it there, but the trees, these have holes. Um, and then the outline will cut them out. This outline will also cut the trees out that are the stamped images. And then uh, the little piece of fence and the, the cabin. So this outline die will also cut, these two pieces, two dies here, um, will also cut the stamped image but this is just an embossed and cut out image. All right, let me bring in all the other supplies that I have. So all of the measurements and written instructions are on my blog, so you'll be able to go out and find them if you, if you miss out on anything through the video. So this is a piece of smoky slate cardstock. It is cut five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm just going to fold it in half and take my bone folder and give it a really nice burnish so it sits nicely. Okay. Right. Then I've got a piece of basic black cardstock that is cut four inches by five and a quarter and a piece of designer series paper that is cut three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So I'm just going to adhere that, isn't this, this is pretty too. It's kind of hard to decide what pieces that you're going to use and cover up. It's hard to cover up. So pretty. So I'm just going to adhere this piece. So you're just going to get a peekaboo of the basic black. And then the, this can adhere. So you can use whatever your favorite adhesive is. I'm using Stamp and Seal. It tends to be my go-to. Get that even. All right, there we go. All right, so there's my card base mostly done. And now it's a matter of um, all the dies. I've gone ahead and pre-cut the dies so I didn't have to bring my stamp and cut and emboss machine in. Sometimes I shake the table. So you can see, oops, there are actually two dies here. There is the outline die and then there is the this piece that, that cuts out um, all the pieces. So I'm gonna take my, take your pick tool and just poke out all of the holes and then this piece. And I'm just gonna grab my paper snips because I'm not sure where they've gone to. There. And I'm just gonna take, mine doesn't seem to be cutting all the way through here and I'm not sure why, so let's just start it. 
Anyway, so you can just take your paper snips and cut that piece out. All right, so that's my, my cabin. Now I've gone ahead and done the same with with the, tr the little fence, but also these trees. So again, there are two. There is the outline outline die that cut the trees. This will cut the stamped image as well. And then these individual trees, well, actually those are two together, and then an individual one that cut the trees with the holes in them. And you can just take that. And again, just poke all the, the holes out of the trees. Just gives it a really nice dimension and texture with these holes popped in it. One of these days, I'm going to save all my little bits. I know I've said this before. When you spend all the time poking holes out that the dies have cut, you should do something with all of these little bits. Poking. If I had my uh, my brush end for my take your pick tool, there is an a attachment for the take your pick tool with a brush end that you can uh, use to just run the brush over. That probably would work much faster than doing it this way. All right. There we go. I think I've got them all. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Get the die back over so I don't lose it. Now I've got the fence cut and I'm just gonna poke into the hole and get this little fence piece out. And poke those out. And then I went ahead, that back on the sheet. I went ahead and cut the little individual trees out of vellum. I just like the look of the vellum texture. That's that. So I've got three trees and I think one is still, yes, one is still in the tree. There we go. All right. My dies back in their case so I don't lose them and clean up all these little bits. Let's move them off to the side. There we go. All right. So now I can start assembling my card. So these two pieces fit nicely one behind the other. I'm going to have to trim the, the trees. Um, I'm actually going to pop this up a little bit. I want my black trees just to be a little higher than, than what they are if I make them even. So I'm just going to use uh, dimensionals. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on behind my, my cabin. And I'm just going to cut a piece of the dimensional here because I don't have my my mini dimensionals handy and I think this spot at the end is just a little bit too thin for the uh, for the regular size dimensional so you can just take and trim so now I can just take and add this like I said I'm popping it up a little bit higher than than what it would be and I'm going to just trim off this end like that. And then this is going to go right on the card base like this. And I'm going to use dimensionals on it as well. I just really like the having things popped up on my card base. So just put three dimensionals across that so that it adheres. And just about Oh, about half an inch from the bottom of it. And I, yeah, looks like that's pretty good. Okay, you can use some, um, if you wanted to put a glue dot um, in behind the trees, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let them kind of float. Now, these trees, these vellum trees, if you just use a glue dot on these, um, it works really well. So just uh, take and adhere 
I usually just kind of stick them on and then I use my take your pick tool to pull them off. And you can put them wherever. I'm just going to pop that one down underneath and let it stick up. It's really hard to see on camera where I'm putting these. That. And then the little one. Oops, not there. I'm just going to pop right here. That. Now, some of these you might need. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but I've got one here. And I'm going to take a, di a dimensional, or not a dimensional, a, a glue dot and just uh, pop it down a little bit lower so it doesn't um, stick up so much or stick kind of come forward so much. There we go. All right. So that is most of my card front. Oh, this little piece here. This is the, the, little, uh, the little fence. So I'm just going to I'll just take a scrap of paper here. I'm going to use um, multi-purpose liquid glue. There we go. And just put, try and put just a little bit of glue. Not a lot. I want glue all over the place. There we go. And gently pick that up. Maybe. All right, and I'm just going to put the fence right there, just a little bit of more detail. Okay, now I went ahead and cut out um, a strip of uh, basic white cardstock. So this is five eighths of an inch uh, by about two and three quarter inches. And then I've got a uh, basic black that is three quarters of an inch by about three inches. Uh, this is going to, I'm going to use the, the banners pick a punch, which I've got here. And I'm going to just cut the, the flag ends. Now, one of the tricks I use with this, because sometimes when I've got my piece of cardstock in there, it seems to shift a little bit, especially if it's not fitting exactly in one of the, the slots for the sizes. It's so this is five eighths of an inch. So it's just a little bit. I put it in where I think it needs to go. And then I turn it upside down. And you can see here, if I cut this, it's not going to be even. So if you line it up so that you get this, this line here, even it, roughly in the middle, and make sure that it's right butted up against the end, you will get a flag end that is much, much nicer than if you, and, and level. Um, so here, I'm, it's probably hard for you to see the black in there, but I've done exactly the same. Um, and then my flag ends come out so that the, the, uh, the point on the, inside is actually even. So now I'm just going to take, I've got some tuxedo black memento and I'm just going to stamp this and see if I can do it evenly. Oh, not too, too bad. I usually stand when I do my videos and today I'm actually sitting, which is just the way my I was set up for world card making day yesterday, so things are a bit out of whack. So I'm just going to adhere this on. Now, I'm going to trim this because it doesn't need to be that end. So depending on what you decide to use for your stamp, um, I just kind of trim the end. And I'm going to use dimensionals to, to adhere the sentiment on. All right, and we're just going to put the sentiment up here in the top, top right hand corner. Oops, like that. There we go. Now, the last thing are these amazing subtle shimmer sequins that come in the product suite. These are great for shaker cards, and I've got some videos posted for shaker cards made with these, but they also work really well to um, adhere the sequence. So I'm just going to. 
make sure my glue is coming out. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to put a little dot. You don't need very much. You just take your, your multi-purpose glue and just put little dots on here. And then grab your take your pick tool. And if you use the putty end, you can pick up some individual sequence. She says confidently. There we go. So. And you can just take and set them down on those glue spots like that. And if you need to use the other end, the pointy end, just to kind of push it in place. I find this holds really, really well. Um, it's quite amazing um, when I've used this technique with the glue. Um, you want to let it definitely sit before you start moving it around too much but it, it will hold nicely and um, even after you've put cards in envelopes and things um, you'll find that uh, the sequence will still be there all right so that's the card um it was pretty easy and the, the real trick is to cut your dies out in advance all the die pieces and then it goes together pretty quick it's not adorable can't you just imagine yourself um curled up in uh in the cabin by the fireplace. I know I can. All right, let's switch over back over. All right, thanks everybody for joining me. As I said, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, one of the things as part of the International Highlights Blog Hop is that you will be able to vote for your favorite card. And there are always some amazing cards that people do uh, and projects. And so I really encourage you to go out, um, hop over to my blog at stampingwithmelva.com um, and the link to this specific blog hop will be under the, the video so that you can get the measurements and written instructions. But hop over there and um, there will be links so you can go out and vote for your favorite card. All right. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, that way you'll be notified when I do another video. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Happy stamping.